In part three, we're going to take a look at the new scene graph in Lyric X. So we've changed the scene graph slightly. First of all, we've added icons. So let's call up this scene first of all. We've added icons so it's very easy for the user to see what's being used. So for instance, that's an image, and there's uh, some text, and that's a 3D primitive. We've also introduced uh, some filtering. So if I click on type, I can say I want to see all of the images. So it opens up all the, gr all the groups and shows me all of the images. And if I want to change this and see, let's just see what uh, the 3D primitives are. Now I can see what the 3D primitives. Or if I want to see just the groups. Then if I come down to property, I can say, let's say, let's see what is auto-hidden. So if I click on auto-hidden, it'll show me that there is something that's auto-hidden in this scene. So that changes to the scene graph. A couple of other things that uh, you might need to know with the scene graph. And so let's uh, start and add just a bar to the scene. Click a bar, move it to the bottom, and I'm going to quickly add some text. And we're going to get into the text portion of it a little bit later. All right, so I'm going to take that bar and the text and click on the grouping tool, which is right there. Now, if I want to add a new timeline animation, click and add the effect in. Now, how do I get this? I can actually do it two different ways. I can right click and say add to the current transition that automatically does it. Now, if I add another timeline animation, let's say effect out. The other way is taking this and simply dragging it down into the timeline. So those are the two ways of getting uh, elements from the scene graph into the timeline animation. So that is the new scene graph in the new Lyric X.